And then I'm going to get a key and I'm gonna get out those two pieces right there. And I just noticed there's another piece in there. Well, I just spent a few hours restocking our booth here at Bedford Street Antiques with my mom. She had to take off, she has a banquet tonight, but I figured I would stick around for a little while and do a little bit of shopping because Paul usually restocks his booths on Tuesday and today's a Thursday. Paul usually stashes good stuff in here. That's kind of neat. Drawer full. There's some art glass. Everything is shifting. Okay. Hmm, it's got a polished bottom. How much is it? <laughs> 39 bucks. Tag just kept flipping on me. All right, we may have to come back to that. I wanna see what else we can find. What is this down here? Those are pretty plates underneath. U.S. Oh, give us this. Oh, those are really cool looking, but they have a man's face on them. I'm not really fond of plates with men's faces on them. This is crazy because I actually saw this on Paul's, uh, <laughs> Paul's Facebook page and I'm like, that is so cool, but by the time I get in there, it's going to be long gone. Guess what? It's still here. Oh my gosh. It has a few condition issues, but he's only got it priced for $99. It's super comfy. I just sat in it. <laughs> oh goodness. I kind of like it. I can't fit it in my car though, so I would have to leave it here for a minute. Also, this is really nice too. Alright, I think I'm going to buy this, but I think I'm going to have to ask Andrew to pick it up for me. Because I can't fit it. Because I have a million banana boxes in my car. Oh my goodness, this has got to be the cutest shell creature I have ever come across. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it has googly eyes or it really is just that cute. Goodness, I feel like it's full retail though, it's 15 that's <laughs> fantastic. I love it. All right, let's see. Let's wander into this booth. It's been a while since I checked out this booth. There is an Easter egg. Actually, I was researching Easter milk glass the other day, and some of these can be worth a ton of money if they have like a, a figural chick coming out of them. This one does not. Goodness, look at this mantle luster, 59. It's only 59. <laughs> that is absolutely stunning in blue. I see them a lot in cranberry, not often blue. I might have to the ground that. Where'd that question come in? Oh, this side all along with your too funny and um, there's somebody here at Bedford called the lamp doctor and they fix lamps and th that sort of thing um, <laughs> so he was asking me about about an order that they had come in and I'm like I'm not the lamp doctor I'm the lamp lady <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny anyway I, have to, I think I have to buy this this is absolutely stunning it would be a pain to ship because you have to um, wrap each of these individually so I'm taking into consideration um, <laughs> the tediousness of shipping and I'm deciding that yes this is worth it because it's a beautiful piece of glass look at all this hand painted enamel on that and for only $59 I think we need it I'm gonna pull this down and then I'm gonna put that vase back and then I'm going to get a key and I'm gonna get out those two pieces right there and I just noticed there's another piece in there <laughs> all right buy it all buy all the Murano there's three pieces at least. I was noticing this Mary Gregory over here. It's kind of nice. I'm not really sure what they're doing. 
Oh, the flower. Well, this person's not holding anything. Oh, I guess the boy is... No. Yeah, the boy is handing the girl the flowers. That's what's going on. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're going to bring this monstrosity up to the front now. Very carefully one-handed while filming. Yeah, this one's off the track. I forgot about that. I'm going to move these up so I don't knock those over. And then reach. Oh, do you mind holding them while I get them both out? And then reach. There we go. I just wanted to check them over and make sure they don't have any. All right, so these two are good. 39 and 38. More goodies? Yes. <laughs> I had a lady look at those two. She was going to take those two, and then she didn't. Oh. And she was looking at the other blue piece, which was pale blue. Yeah, I'm about to buy that one, and, too, and but Paul couldn't one. get it open. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had so much trouble with that. Well, he couldn't get oh, it open. Oh, those two were in the same case. No, wait. No, that pale one was in the other case. Yeah, That's it's, right. Yeah, it's the other. Yeah, Paul couldn't get it open. It's a different key. <laughs> it's a different key. Yeah, yeah, he's looking for the key now. <laughs> That's too funny. That's a nice basket, too. Thank you. Yeah, that's gorgeous. 35, I will take it. Okay. So I got those three pieces of beautiful Murano glass and now we are going to poke around in the spoof. Um, they do a really good job of refreshing it. So I like to see what's new. There's Tinker Bell. <laughs> a little bit of art glass. That is just darling, isn't it? And Geds. I think I've actually seen that before. All right. Ooh, look at those lamps. Those are pretty. Only 48 for the pair. Hmm, what is that? Studio Pottery Butterfly 24. It is signed. Can't quite make it out though. I don't know. I like it. I like butterfly. Butterflies sell pretty well for me. So maybe I'll, I'll buy the butterfly. This is also pretty. I like this color. I picked up a melon, a melon base in that color a few weeks ago at Black Rose. It was only a few dollars though. That one is 30, so I'm not sure I can buy that one and still make a profit on it. I'm actually considering this brum since my last one sold so well. Marked on the bottom. This one is 23. The first time I was like, oh, 23. But then I found one at Goodwill and I sold it and it did really well. And now I'm like, well, maybe 23 isn't that bad after all. So maybe I'll pick it up this time. And that snail is adorable. <laughs> All right, well, I was noticing some cool stuff in here. A few glass pieces. Lots of little things. Oh, there's a little elf back there. Oh, check out that, that doll. I'm gonna pull that out. Lindsay style male doll. All right, so we are gonna wander upstairs. I'm getting a little hungry, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last. But we've got to see what we can find. Gotta set my flower down and check out this wool climbing cat. Hmm. I know the Comark ones can be worth a little bit, but there's no way I'm going to be able to make out anything on the bottom of that. A lot of them are made in Japan, too, and those ones aren't worth as much as the Comark. The otters are still there. Squirrels, whatever you think they are. There was some debate in the comments the last time. That horse head. What is that? It's modern. <laughs> Made in China. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe it was going to be a vintage planter. I was wrong. I'm going to be 
utilize this basket. They're just sitting on the floor. <laughs> I'm a little curious what they were. There we go. That crackle glass is really pretty. Amarina. Crackle glass always makes me so nervous though. I'm like, is it crackle glass or is it cracked? I don't know. Actually, I have a cup at home, a crackle glass cup that actually got a crack at it and I didn't know until I tried drinking milk out of it. And I'm like, this thing's leaking. That is an interesting person there. beads everywhere. It's a shame. That looks like a historical flask, but it could also be a reproduction. Yeah, reproduction. <laughs> what about that one in the back? That's pretty, isn't it? I think that might be a decanter or I don't know I feel like that needs a stopper I saw these the last time I was in and I thought these were pretty uh, but I was already on my way out and I'm like you know what I've got so much glass last time I was here was I was finding glass everywhere these are made in Japan but I just think they're really nice they're candlestick holders they have a blue swirl. There's a pair. I'm saying I'm talking in the plural because there's actually two of them. I think those are really nice and 35 for the pair though. I didn't actually look at the price before I'm like talking them up. I'm like, these are amazing. I don't know. I like them, but I don't know if I could pay that for resale. I'd pay that for myself. But I don't know if I could pay that for resale. Oh, but I didn't notice those last time. Oh my gosh, look at the owls. <laughs> look, at, look at the eyes on that owl. That's insane. <laughs> that owl has seen things. Last time I was here with mom, I looked at this lamp and I didn't actually film it because it has a broken pedal right here, but I just thought she is the most darling thing. Look at her. And she's got that broken pedal. I just love her so much. And I'm, tempt I'm tempted to buy her even though she's broken. She's $19.99. I think she's just precious. I don't know. I wonder if that can be fixed. Hmm. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. I think I'm gonna buy her. She's $19.99. I'm gonna buy her. Bird is cute. Potpourri holder. I wonder why he has hold. I'm like, what are you sticking the holes? Oh, you put potpourri in him, and then he smells good. Mm, interesting. Now, the last time I was in this booth, I found a really nice Murano bird. Oh, look, it's a crystalline vase. Eight bucks. That's fantastic. And I love the color. Let's see what this booth is. The, this booth is on point. The prices are great. Stuff is great. Kind of like this little guy. <laughs> it's just like the colors of it. I don't know. I don't have very much room in my car because I have all the empty banana boxes from stocking the booth. So I have to kind of limit myself. I did buy a chair. Oh my. Hello. Oh. I feel like this is something special. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> All right. Um. So much glass. Put this in here, and I'm gonna put this little crystalline vase. My camera is probably going to die, and I may have to switch over to my phone. And the volume is always less and, and softer on my phone so if I do have to switch I apologize for the volume <laughs> mini brown and tan vase lots of mini vases in here today 
this one I like. This is Art Glass Blue Swirl. This is really pretty. I don't know though. I also like this. That one's gorgeous. 25 on that one. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> Here is a Japanese dog planter. 650. so pretty that would look amazing in my guest room but also I don't think it would fit in my guest room <laughs> uh, I'll have to think about where I would put that Okay, well, I'm going to scooch through here and see what I can find. I don't remember that being here last time. I do like the colors of it. 19 on that. This was here last time, I remember. <laughs> Dug through here uh, to get a pedestal. This is just adorable. 1950s caddy with glasses. The caddy is unique because normally I find them and they're just brass looking. It's 35. <laughs> you can tell I'm hungry. I haven't eaten 35. I can't even. What in the world is this? Large amber. What? Wow. Those are some knobs. Look at her hiding under there. It's a musical. Schmid. Musical nun. This vase here is nine bucks and I turned it over and it has a K instead of an O on the bottom. I think this might be K. Olson Pottery, which is actually a local pottery in Carlisle. And I know because I've purchased from her in the past. I owed, I owned one of her necklaces and I own a mug from her. I kind of like it. Okay, so I think pottery vase, nine bucks. I was walking by and saw this. It's art pottery. Kind of interesting. I almost wonder if that's Raku. I don't know. Painted Raku? 39. I think I'm gonna grab that for 39. Alright, I think this is it for me. I think I'm ready to go go and eat. It's family dinner night. Right after I look in this cabinet. What do we have in here? Lots of china. A little bit of glass down here. That thing's wild. <laughs> 